How does that work? Is it like how are we feeling? Are we feeling like I right, we want to be secluded and isolated? You know what I'm saying? Away from fucking racist police officers or, or police in general, and we don't need to be policed. If that's what the fuck we saying, then like dog, we need to give niggas like me a leg to stand on. As far as I right, nigga, look, street niggas are not fucking up their own community. Street niggas are aiding and protecting our community. If we can't walk down that road and actually, you know what I'm saying, police ourselves, then we'll never be free of the fucking scrutiny we go through with these racist motherfuckers. I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader A.O. Nation, and this is, I ain't got no shirt behind me right now, so goddamn, <laughs> we're going to have to do it how we do it, but I'm here live, live, this is the Are You Serious, Monroe, Alabama, fuck with nigga feelings, Alabama tour, and we right here in front of this motherfucker, man, they're really rocking out, man, but we have a situation going on. That I just I just gotta really know what I'm saying speak about and, and, and holler at niggas in a situation as you can see I look off we got niggas you know what I'm saying walking up y'all didn't already seen hopefully y'all didn't already seen the table set up and shit like that uh you know I'm I'm a paranoid ass nigga so goddamn uh you know what I'm saying I, uh, I'm paranoid as fuck so I'm looking at niggas niggas uh moving around and shit like that it's crazy but uh, but this is another situation where we take two steps forward with Ving Rains being assaulted in front of his house, whatever like that, being held at gunpoint, and I gotta talk about that shit too, but we get pushed five steps back because turn out that the nigga that the police killed wasn't 16, he wasn't 11, and he wasn't innocent, he wasn't just running from the fucking police, the nigga had pulled off damn near 12 damn robbers, or four damn robbers, commercial robbers, and he was actually pulling a fucking strap from under his shirt. You know what I'm saying? Merchandise will be on the table. All the new shirts, all the new colors will be there. If you want to order your shirt before then, you can go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10. Now, for all advertisers, all rappers, and anyone who wants to just donate and show love to the channel, you go to paypal.me forward slash Aaron337. And to all my advertising artists, y'all already know the deal. Don't hit me up until you're ready to promote. I can't do that. Y'all notice and recognize how many motherfuckers is now starting to make sure that they tell advertising and shit like that to fuck with them and shit. I started that. This is what real niggas do. We're innovative. Shit together, big home. Like, we have to start thinking, dog. Like, we got to think about, okay, so if your mother, father, your loved one was a police officer, what action would you like for them to take to ensure that they come home alive like is it fuck the police or is it fuck the dirty police like is it is it fuck white police fuck racist police or is it fuck police in general you know what i'm saying like because if we gonna uphold the bullshit then that mean that like my nigga darren said you know what i'm saying if we don't want the police to police us then that mean we gotta police ourselves if your mother or any of your family members own any type of business, a store, or something like that, who takes care of the criminals that robbed them? If somebody put a gun to your grandma head because she owned a mom and pop store on the corner and shit like that, who gonna carry out the punishment for that? Do that motherfucking criminal just get like, so that mean like, fuck the police and we ain't gonna snitch, we ain't gonna do shit, so fuck it, you can just come in my house and rob my grandma and you just straight, whatever like that. Or do I get to drag you out in the fucking street and murder your bitch ass? How does that work? Is it, like, how are we feeling? Are we feeling like, all right, we want to be secluded and isolated, you know what I'm saying, away from fucking racist police officers or, or police in general. 
and we don't need to be policed. If that's what the fuck we saying, then like dog, we need to give niggas like me a leg to stand on. As far as I right, nigga, look, street niggas are not fucking up their own community. Street niggas are aiding and protecting our community. If we can't walk down that road and actually, you know what I'm saying, police ourselves, then we'll never be free of the fucking scrutiny we go through with these racist motherfuckers. I had my nigga from uh, Ohio hit me up, man, and, and he felt like the police, you know what I'm saying, they, they fucked the little boy over, they ain't give him a chance and all that shit like that. But he said the boy was 16 years old. So you don't even know what happened and you already defending this motherfucker. But as soon as somebody do something to you, you feel like, you know what I'm saying, fuck that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that nigga. Whatever happened to him, fuck him. And on top of that shit, if you have a nigga on child support, as a black woman, if you have a nigga on child support, you are not able to say anything about no snitch, no nothing, because you work for the goddamn government. If you put a nigga in a situation, this is why the fuck I told my brother, I don't give a motherfucker about who want to get married. Ain't no marriage. Marriage ain't a goddamn thing but a piece of paper saying that the woman now controls the household. If the woman gets mad, if the woman don't feel right, how the fuck a woman feel, that mean, you know what I'm saying, she can shut everything the fuck down. Now, legally, she can shut your shit down for cheating, not washing the dishes, not taking the kids where you want them to go. As a black man, until we get these things straightened out, you do not hand shit over to the white man government. At this point in time, this shit is too fucked up for us to say any goddamn thing about signing no piece of paper that say we are obligated to do anything that these motherfuckers... We don't put ourselves in bondage to where now we have to goddamn do what the motherfucker in the goddamn road say do. You ain't noticed they goddamn when you go to court, a nigga got to take his swag, you got to be humble with your head down. So as a black woman... You cannot come out this bitch saying, ah, stop killing our men and all this bullshit like this if you actively have a nigga on fucking child support. I, all the, I know, I understand, y'all, yeah, yeah, how niggas gonna do? Dog, right now we have an issue with niggas dying, not niggas not paying some shit. If the nigga ain't paying no fucking child support, if he not taking care of his fucking children, then you should not have picked him as a fucking father. Nine times out of ten, he showed you that he wasn't gonna be a responsible parent before you got pregnant. That was your goddamn decision. But to go and give these motherfucking racist people that you claim are racist as fuck, to give them a reason to walk up in a nigga house for a child support warrant or some shit like that, knowing that that's what the fuck they want, all they need is a reason, or he had a warrant for child support. What the fuck does that mean? This shit is a lot deeper than the fuck y'all nigga looking at. The police put the video up of the motherfucker getting shot quick as fuck because it was obvious that he was in the goddamn wrong. Anytime they know that the police know they in the wrong, it take them goddamn near three years to release the damn body cam footage. These motherfuckers put this shit out instantly to show y'all. Nigga, if we profile y'all, stereotype y'all, it's for a fucking reason. It's for a fucking reason. Every nigga around this age is a fucking criminal. Period, point blank. That's what the fuck they saying. So as I come out here to my Roval, hot as fuck out this motherfucker, believe that. I want to say a message to everyone here that, that may be, you know, around town and, and looking. And if I have a crowd, if I can speak my voice to anyone, my message would be for 30 days. If we can just prepare a edict, no crime for 30 days. Just to give, like, just, just for 30 days. No crime for 30 days. If y'all can get that, we can get the ball rolling. If not, no more Black Lives Matter. No more motherfucking protests. You get what the fuck you get. Big Fat Podcast. I don't got no pen, so I can't write shit now. See y'all in a minute. Hit the PayPal. Love.